Hello, welcome to our first website building tutorial. Today we will create this website with simple header and simple menu. And there is our hero with title, paragraph and buttons. And our feature section with title, paragraph and simple cards and grid. They are not clickable, just I added hover effect. And then we have pretty simple section and then our contact form. It's not sending message, just the layout. And then our simple footer with links and classical alright reserved text. It's not fully responsive because to do it we need JavaScript and it's a beginner tutorial. I don't want to go deep in that, but in the future tutorials we will learn how to do that. Okay, I open up my code editor. So I like to start with creating files. The first file will be index.html and the second one will be style CSS. We're not gonna add JavaScript, it will be a pretty simple website, so we don't need that. In ES code you can create structure with simple shortcuts. Our title will be first website and from the beginning I would like to link our style CSS to index.html with link tag. Okay. And let's create our main layout using elements. I like to start with header element. It will be our header. And the main element, it will store our content. And the footer for footer. In header, we will have a title and a now. For title, I would like to use h1. So title. And for the now, I would like to use nav element. And for navigation element, I would like to use a tag. I would like to name it as item. Copy that. Oh yeah, I forget. They should send us somewhere. Okay, and. That's good for header. In the main content, we'll have hero site. So, I'm gonna type section, hero section. Name it as hero. In hero, we will have a title again and a paragraph. And the I in header in sorry in hero we want two buttons for one for learn more and another for start now or something like that. At a tag and learn more. The other will be for start now. Okay, and we will have other section for features. Features and features will have title features and features. I would like to use three uh, column feature grid. So to do that, open up a div and inside it we will have image for feature and some text for feature. Empty for now, alt feature image. Okay, plus features grid. Okay. 
creature. Okay. And let's give the class creature image. And then give the text a class creature text. And copy it. Because we want three uh, column grid. Okay, that's enough for creatures. And then we will have about uh, section, which class about, and about we will have again the title, and we can add image on the left and text on the right, yeah we can do that, to do that in about we will just have a text yep give it a class about title mm -hmm. in the text we will fill it later okay and the last thing can be contact uh, yeah contact form inside form we will have uh, input for name last name email and the message just give it type text placeholder name last name email and the text area for the message oh yeah and the button for summoning okay we can go to footer now in footer we will have a simple text copyright text and the social media links or social media links and the copyright text yeah to do that we will have the plus footer social in it we will have our links to social media sites one for facebook Other for Twitter, uh, for YouTube, other for Instagram. And after Twitter social, we will have Twitter copyright. If we can type all rights reserved, something like that. Copyright icon 2020. Yep. Our main structure is built it, but we should give all elements a class to uh, keep styling more clean. Class called header, class header brand, because it's brand title. Class hidden nav, and for it we can give it class header nav item. Copy that because they will be used the same class. Okay, we can give it class called main class hero title class hero text class hero button and for buttons we should add container for them because they gonna be stay in the same line uh, 
us here buttons wait a minute at the href oh yep okay our hero is ready has ready uh features class feature title mm -hmm. they all good and the title about that you guys need class uh, for name and last name they will stay on the same line so we should containerize them you can add class contact input contact form input that will be called Button. Okay, we have some sort of structure right now. I think we can start to work with CSS. Okay, I'm gonna move to my style file. The first thing I will do is resetting default values like margin and the padding. Uh, I want to add the font because default font is not good for us. Open Google Fonts and pick what font you want. We can go with Poppins, it looks good. Yep. I would like to use regular and the bolt go to embed and we can use import feature or link yeah we can use link copy that go to HTML and add the link and copy the font family code go to CSS I want the font apply to all elements I can place it here good now we have our font we have our layout structured and now we should focus on style so we can go to header yeah start with header come here for more readable codes, we can do that. And at header, header will be fixed and full width, so it's hundreds. It will be eighty pixel height. And position fixed, so top will be zero, and the left will be zero. And we can give it a background color like I don't know what to give. We can pick something light. Or just give it swaps. Okay, uh, we have header space. Mm, the header should be fixed because the title and the navigation will be in the same line. So position fixed and also display flex to keep everything in the line. And Justify contents space between align items align align items align items and it will be center align items align items will keep our items 
in the center area. So we can move to header title. Header title will be font size um, 30 pixel. And header title will have color, it should be dark because we are using white background. Can pick one three one three one three. Okay, save it, save it. And for header title, it's enough, I think. Yep, we can move to header now. Uh, in header now, it should be also flex because it also has its items and they need to be centered we don't need to justify content because we will give them padding and margin uh, yeah that's enough for header now and we can move to header now item Okay, we will give them a padding for top and bottom 6 pixel, right and left 10 pixel. And the margin 0 from top and bottom. And for right and left, we will start with 5 pixel. And it will have in size 18 pixel. We can make it dark, but not like the title. We can go with 3 3. And there is one effect I want to add cursor pointer. Okay, save it. Uh, for header now item, I think it's enough. Yep. We can move to main. But first, look, take a look at how our uh, web page looking now. It's live server. For header, it looks cool. Forget the bottom sides. We will fix that. But for header, we have something good. But I should delete these underlines on the item. Go to style CSS. Add a now item, come here, type text, decoration, none. As you can see, it's deleted the underline. But we should give some padding from left and right. It's too close to end. Go to feather title, type padding left, 20 pixel. Copy that, go to header now, and padding right. Yep, it works, but not working here. Okay, I find the problem. We name it as header brand, but we use this as header title. We should name, rename it as header brand. Back to page, yep, our code is here working fine okay good and yeah we can also give header now item a effect for hovering with header now item hover and i just wanted to change the color with something much lighter It much either nine 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 okay yep but it's pretty straight I, I want to give it a transition to do that transition all point two seconds yep it's working now fine good 
okay our header is done now we can move to our main We have nothing to do with main, so we don't need to add that. But we should do something with hero. Your hero, type hero. Uh, it will be 100 base. For height, I want it to come like here or full screen. I want to make it full screen. We can make make it calculate. Type hundred VH. That means all all the way of your screen. But if you do that, we have header on there. It will take place on that. So we are using calculate function. We can do minus. What is our header height? Eighty pixel. Okay. Minus eighty pixel. That will work fine. Don't care this place. But in hero we should do something. In header we set it as fixed. So we need to give it some margin to see hero. Our hero text under the header. We don't want that. To do it, your hero uh, type margin top. Pixel. Now it is working like what we wanted. Now what I want to do, I want to center hero items. Go back to hero, hero section, what we can do. We can add hero container to make it better. Hero container, and inside it, we can add our items. I like to center it on the screen, so make its position absolute. And you should give here a position relative to prevent going outside. Type left 50%, top 50%. Okay, but as you can see, it's not perfectly on the center. To, to fix it, Come here and type transform translate minus 50 minus 50. It will help us to center uh, it correctly on the screen. And I, I don't know what it's doing in here, but I can guess it's setting the origin, I think. Okay, now we have our hero contents on the center, but I want a bigger hero title. Come here and type hero title. Good font size like 60 pixel. I don't know, is it enough? Yep, it's good. Hero title 60 pixel. Give it a color like this one. Okay, um, yep. we can go to hero text, <coughs> hero text, yep, it will be font size 8 in pixel and color will be 333. Okay, it's like, it's starting to look like something, but it's not looking good, I want to center it. Center the text like your text. To do this, type text align. 
counter. Copy that and add it to hero text. Yep. Now that's better. Go move to hero buttons. It will be flex and line up from center. Justify content space between. Okay. We can use some margin because it's too close to text and title. So type margin, margin top. Give it 25 pixel. That's way more better, but make it 25. Okay, that's good. Um, we can also add some margin. No, just keep it like that. Let's shape our buttons. Your button. Mm, get some padding top to bottom 6 pixel. Right to left, 10 pixel. We not gonna give it margin because we are using space between. Uh, we can change the font size to mm, 8 in pixel. Text align, sorry, text decoration none because it's anchor tag. Yep. We can choose the color white because they will have a darker background for background color we can use something colorful like blue okay that's looking cool but we should give it much more padding Yeah, that will be better. Okay, I think we should give them some radius. Border radius, like 5 pixel. Mm -hmm, okay, that's better. And little bit effect. Hero button hover. We can change the background. To something lighter and we can give it some transition to make it more smoother yep that's cool okay now I think hero can go we should move to features section and also we can do give it A container like here and end it here. And then um, uh, features. Okay. Starts doing some styling on features. Features, mm. features title. We don't need to edit features. I think just keep it in here. I don't know. Maybe we should do something later. Feature edit feature title. Uh, set the font size to twenty pixel or twenty five. Okay, that's not bad. Are we writing through feature title? Okay, good. Change its color to three. And I want to center it. Okay, good. Oh yeah, in features we can give some padding from top to bottom, like mm, padding from. Bottom, like 25 pixel and from left and right zero 
Okay, good. Our, uh, if you see, our header looks transparent because this hero is top on the header. If I change its background color, you will understand me much better. If we give header hero something like red, it will be looked at disgusting. <laughs> Yep, as you can see, it's going upwards. We don't want that. We want header go up to header. To do this, we should change the Z index of header. We can give it like pretty big, 99. Yep, now it's working. And now we can delete this disgusting. Yep. It's way, way more better. Okay, in the features, maybe we can make features title bigger. Like 30 pixel. Okay. Um, yeah, feature title, good. We can give it also a description feature. Feature text, change it to features text and features title, and type something here. Go here. We should edit as features title, and copy that features text. Set the font size to 18 pixel, and the color will be 666. Good. Okay, we can give it a little bit margin to top, like 10 pixel. Okay, and we can move to feature grid. Features grid. It will be display flex and justify content space between. A nine items center, and we can limit its width like eighty percent or yeah eighty percent of your screen width. There is no difference. Oh yeah, there is difference, and we should center it with margin. To do that, margin. Top to bottom, we can give it 10 pixel, and right and for right and left, we should give it auto. Now it's centered, good. But we should give it much more margin. Okay. Yes, um, we can start editing feature. Feature. Feature they will have width of 300 pixel. I don't get the height. Can give it some background color to see. Yep, they are waiting us. I want to make it look like a card. So to do this, give it a border radius. 5 pixel and a box shadow. It will be cool. From X and Y to here, and you should give it a blue like 6 pixel and change its color 0, 0, 0, 0, 25. It will give us a smooth black shadow. Yeah. Okay, we can optimize it later. So, now we can add image. I will find some image on the internet. To do this, you can use Unsplash. It's free. Uh, it has beautiful images. 
so we don't know what type of website we are doing so we can use anything we want like this pick the small one okay download it I'm gonna move it to oh wait keep it I'm gonna move it to our folder and rename it as feature yeah feature mm, and added it to feature.jpg copy that Play, paste it paste it they are big we don't want that to fix this issue what name is it okay we can come here and type feature feature image it will be hundred percent. Yep, it's fixed. But we should give corners a radius to make it more smoother. But only for top. To do that, border top left radius five pixel border top right radius. It will be also five pixel. Go. Yep. Our borders are so uh, our borders are now round. Okay, we can edit feature text. Feature text. So we want it centered. But first change the font size. Can be 18 pixel and the color can be 666. And text align should be center. Okay, cool. And we can give it some padding to give it more space. Or to any. Look. Yep, it's looking way more better. But I should give it some margin from feature feature script. Yep, margin should be 40 pixel. Okay, and we can give the card the effect for hovering. Feature, yep. Type feature hover. To do that, we can give it. First, choose a pointer, make it look like clickable, but not. Or, yeah, keep it. That's our web page. We can do whatever we want. I want to. When we hover on it, we can move it a little bit to top. To do this correctly, you should use transform. Transform, translate Y. And. Give it 10 pixel. Head back. Yeah, not right. Minus 10 pixel. Okay, good. And also, I want to make it more smoother. To do that, give it transition. All to 2.2 seconds. Yep, that's way more better, better. And we can edit the box shadow to give it some effect. It's going up. We should add it box shadow to mm, x x will be zero, y should be ten pixel or maybe five pixel. Blue can be 10 pixel and the color will be the same. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you see on the bottom. It's looking much better. Okay, it's enough for features. Now we can move to about. Mm, yep, in here. Oh, 
Okay. Type about. We can give it a padding also. We give features 25 pixel. Okay, we're gonna give you the same. Look good. Change about title. It will be same with feature text and title. So copy that. Change it to about. Okay. Yep, nice. That's cool. Now, um, yeah, we forget adding something to here. Last contact title. People should know they're contacting with us. Okay. About is done. Now, do the same for the con contact. Yep, copy the styles, change it to contact. We don't have contact text, so we can delete it. Yep, centered, perfect. Now edit the form. It looks disgusting right now. We don't want disgusting thing. Start with editing contact form. Go contact and form. We should limit it with same as the features. So give it 80%. Uh, give it margin mm, 40 pixel auto. Good. Or not 40, it's 20. Yeah, that's better. Now we need to stretch items. Wait a minute. It shouldn't be. 80% it should be 60 or something yeah because we don't want it too big and yeah we should give it a class contact form mm, flex or form input group yeah pretty long name <laughs> Contact form input group, but it stays consistent and clean. Trust me. Um, give it flex, make it flex. Sorry, align items to center, justify content space between. Nice. And now we can edit our inputs. They will have 100 width or not. Don't give it a width. You make it to display block. Give it display block and set with 100%. Yep. And at box sizing to border box. Make them equal. Give padding, nope, padding, not padding block, just padding from top and bottom 4 pixel, from right and left 8 pixel. Okay, look good, looking good. And I'd like to add margin from top and bottom, top and bottom, like 10 pixel, from right and left 0. Uh, yep, good. We will fix that. Don't think about it. We should change the disgusting outline and the border. To do this, set the border none. Give it some border radius, like 5 pixel, and remove the outline to none. Yeah, give it some background color. Zero and Change the color to 666. Six, six. And also, important, change the font size to 8 pixel. Good, that's looking better. But it's not visible. We're gonna fix it with 
contacts. Give it a background color. And I'm gonna pick this one from the hero buttons. Come here and... Yeah, that's better, but we should change the contact title color to something like white. Mm, yep. And we can add some much more padding to our inputs. Like just give it 10 pixels. Yep, that's way more better. And we can lower the margin to 8 pixel. Good. Now edit contact for text area. It will be look like the same as input, but there are some differences. In the text area, you can change its size. It's good, but I don't want to change its width. I just want to change its height. To do this, come to text area and type type resize, and uh, we want it vertical. Okay, everything works fine right now. And I just don't need change margin to margin top. Eight pixels. And yeah, also you should change it on here. Yep, cool. And I would like to change the button. To change it, come here, contact, form, button. Should make it display block. I would like to change the web. I don't want it too big. We can just size change its width to fit content and give it some padding from left and right 10 pixel and sorry top and bottom 10 pixel left and right 20 pixel yep looking good give it cursor pointer and remove the border add border radius Five pixel. Change the background color to white, and the color to three, 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 three. Okay, looking good. Change the font size to something big, like two and a pixel. No, it's too big. Edit. Change it to eighteen pixel. Okay, uh, but we should give it some sort of effect. Yeah, we should give it some effect. It hover. Go contact, form, button, and hover. We can change the background color. Uh, it's really, really bright lights. White, uh, blue color, yeah. It's too light. <laughs> Darker. Not that looking good. Mm, okay. If we change also the color, I think it will be much better. Yep. Uh, and we should add transition to make it smooth. Alright, that's looking cool. But I think it should be darker blue. Yeah. Make it dark, dark, dark. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Okay. There's only one thing with form is the spacing. How we can fix it? We can add additional class or not. No, no, no. Just come here. Type contact form input group and then type contact form input. It will be just added items inside contact form group. 
do the set the width to 95% slash no it's not worked okay change 85 oh it's not working because what it's doing it's first running that and then running this so it's setting with to 90% and then setting to 100% that's not v1 we can fix it easily to sending it to bottom No, it's not working. Okay. Contact for Mimput Group. We are doing something wrong, or I should just add importance. I think we are doing something wrong. Wait. I think I got the problem yeah it's not about importance they all already in with 50% so you should think it's like 40 45 percent yep but there is too much space take 49 percent yep that's good that's really good but there is one thing we should change we should give button a margin margin top 10 picks okay good really good we fixed our contact form we added about section feature section and hero section now we just need to change footer okay to make it good okay edit a class called footer come here come up here add footer container footer starts place it yep footer will be with 100 percent it will have a background and it should be 111 really dark what we have we have put the social okay the social will be display flex align items center don't give it justify content or not let me think yeah don't give it justify content set its margin um I don't know. 10 pixel auto. Oh wait. You shouldn't give it margin from top and bottom. It's change the footer height. We don't want that. We're gonna give it some padding to fix this issue. Okay, that's better. Now, wait a minute. It's not working. Yeah, it's not working. To fix this, we can give it a width fit content. Yep, that's centered well. Good. Uh, I'd like to edit to social, I think, item link. Sorry. Change the font size to 18 pixel and give it a color like white and you should give it a padding or margin like 8 pixel or something mm, yep and also I would like to delete text decoration to none Oh, good. Okay, nice. We can give them an effect. Change the color to to blue. Yeah, darker blue. 
give it a transition to make it more smooth. Two seconds. Okay. That looks good. And we have someone hiding over there. We should center it. And it's Futu Copyright. Futu Copyright. Text align center with a padding like 10 pixel and change the color to white. And also give it a font size, change its font size to 18 pixel. Alright, we created our first website and I think it's is a little bit long, but thanks for watching. See you next time.